everyone, I hope you're all enjoying your Easter holidays. In this craft session, I'm going to show you how to make your own clay and use it to make Easter decorations. These are the things you'll need for this craft session. A mixing bowl, three quarters cup of water, three quarters cup of salt, two cups of flour, paint and paint brushes, spoon, a knife, rolling pin, baking paper, and some string or ribbon. First we are going to make the clay. Put the flour and salt into the bowl. Add a little water at a time and mix. We want the mix to be like Play-Doh. Once the dry ingredients have stuck together, you can pull it out the bowl and knead with your hands. As you can see, I'm adding a little more water because the mixture is a little bit dry. Similarly, if the clay is wet and stick into your fingers, add a little more flour. Now the mix is right, I'm going to roll it out like this and cut it into pieces. I'm going to colour these pieces in different colours. The way I do this is to firstly apply a small amount of paint to the clay and mix, then add a little again and mix. I repeat this process until the clay is the colour I want. As you can see, this process is a messy one, so you'll probably need to wash your hands after doing this. And that's five different coloured clay. So now that we have the clay, we can move on to making our decorations. Firstly, I'm going to roll out the red clay. We want to make sure we have the thickness of about half a centimetre. If the clay is too thin, then it will be brittle. And if it's too thick, it will take a long time to dry. So about half a centimetre is the ideal thickness for these decorations. Now I'm going to cut out an egg shape. If you're like me and you don't have an egg shaped cutter, don't worry, you can use a spoon like I'm going to do here. Repeat these steps with all the clay and lay them on baking paper. As you can see, you'll be able to make lots of eggs with the clay that you've made. Next, we're going to make holes at the tops of these eggs. We will use these to tie string or ribbon through later. Let the eggs dry somewhere warm overnight. Here are some of my dried ones. With the dry eggs, you can paint them with your own patterns. But I'm going to keep mine plain. I'm now going to tie a string through the holes. And there you have it. Your Easter decorations. Put them around the house, or you can use them to do an egg hunt. I hope you've enjoyed this session. And happy Easter from all of us at the Theatre of Ellenbach.